This is a very special dream from high school. Um, it was a different flying dream. My brother came to me and said, we have to go somewhere. And kind of like a comic book I read as a child, we got in this fancy 50s like car, uh, convertible, you know, one of those gas guzzlers. And we drove out into outer space and I've always thought it was Mars that we went to but it, it never looked like Mars or anything I, I think it may have been Venus we went to and there were skyscrapers all fallen over like this was a dead dead civilization and we had to scale um, the <laughs> the broken skyscrapers to get into these windows in there and someone had turned one of these sideways ones into a different um, it's like a mansion that was just built into this broken building and suddenly we're just we're all on this bed there's these two alien women and they're dressed like really really out there uh, raver alien thing um they're real cute, not my style as far as, especially at that age. I was all about the ancient Greeks and, yeah. So, they get us or give us, or me in particular, this drug, this little potion, little pink or blue, um, and you drink it down. And what it does is it stuffs the entire universe into you while you take a nap and it makes it fit to you and your desires before bringing it back out again for you to live through and this was like a wondrous little thing that they were doing for us my brother just stood there overseeing like some secret knower that he had gone through this before like the rites of passage, which I uh, assume from our culture is like going to a house of ill repute. But this was different. The whole universe put inside me and then coming out within a harmonic of my desire. <laughs> That's it for that dream. 